Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I wonder what it is that you are doing right now, no matter where you are. So if we can take a moment and realize what is Heal Talk Tuesdays? Every week, for the last four and a half years, I've been coming live on Facebook, sharing a nugget, sharing something about healing, health, wellness, people, um, everything, right? So I wonder if you are the same that you post something and like I have been posting things on Facebook, not realizing afterwards who gets to watch those so i'll get to that in a moment and for those of you who are here thank you so much for being here my name is lisa bubari and by trade i'm a clinical hypnotherapist stress and a stress management consultant so hi said ajan how are you my dearest um you know, it's so good to see you week after week, week after week. I feel like home when um, I get to see everyone that I'm accustomed to. It's like being with you, even though uh, we are connected only on this electronic device. Well, thank God to this moment that keeps us connected, even when we all feel sort of disconnected today's message is going to be uh, coping with stress how we show up and what we hold on to and how it affects us physically mentally emotionally and with that I want you to text as a gift uh, text stress to 818-221-2797 and guess what you will receive an audio recording from me that helps you relax in the comfort of your own home so that you can de-stress again that is text stress to 818-221-2797 very well thank you i hope you're doing well i am i am so today's message when I think about how anxiety dealing with clients, I've got one client that came in last uh, last Friday going through a lot of stress and anxiety because of what is happening um, around the world. Actually, this COVID thing is globally, but how it is affecting not only globally, but how is it affecting each one of us? we all deal with it and respond to it in a different way I like to call respond versus react the difference between react and respond is when something happens and we are not prepared we have a reaction but when we respond means we knew it's coming we don't know when it's coming just like uh, the tornado and that it's happening right now in Texas it's coming they were aware of it they got prepared so they are responding so and that can be responding by protecting their homes by protecting themselves uh, their um, their family members and also emotionally mentally physically they are ready for this it can be a disaster but it's it doesn't have to be just like the fires in California right we know it is the season and so many are prepared until the moment it happens that is called response so we have the first responders ready for it and that's what happens within us so that's my question to you are you more of a reactor or a responder what is it what is it that we react to and what is it that she was going through anxiety even though she knew with the school systems 
and this is what's throwing off so many parents and i don't know are you a parent are you going through this by all means share with me maybe you're a grandparent you see this with your children they are going through this anxiety and panic and everything because of the uncertainties and the unknown she wants to work she found a job and she needs to go to work and guess what happens the school system is sending children home because one child responded uh, as uh, being COVID positive and by all means yes it, it's not that I'm saying it's not a safety precaution and schools have a way of doing this yet in Texas in Dallas another friend of mine says that the school system sends an email that this has occurred there is someone in the class that has tested positive it is up to you parent what you would like to do here in this school system they automatically shut the class down call the parents and say the children have to be picked up and they have to be quarantined for eight to ten days now being that she is working and she just started a job she had to drop the job to be home and she's got no one else so this uncertainty is creating an imbalance not only mentally physically and emotionally so when she feels this i don't know when the shoe is dropping i don't know when it's the next day i don't know what i can do schedule my life my work income how can i live so those all these uncertainties that happen inside and they start boiling all that happens from the inside you see that is created the pressure is created from the outside and the reaction is from the inside giving her tools after a deep state of relaxation and for her to get tools and techniques how to relax herself much faster daily so that she can take control in order to cope and that is what I helped her with because we can't we can't stop the school system we can't shift the system at now what is happening globally she can, has no control but what she has control over is how she can react so my question to you is how do you respond to stressors from the outside how do you cope with things that are coming at you we can put a wall and say you know what it's not happening i'm putting myself in a bubble and or put my hand in the sand and say you know what it's none of my business i'm not involved i it's none of my business to deal with it right i don't have children in school and i don't have to worry about it that's one way second is the parents and the children yes even it's affecting children because just when they went to be with their friends to be back in school system on campus excited now their bubble is being burst so her anxiety was doubled because the children get to cry that they are being sent home even if it's not their fault and this reminded me of something we get blamed when we haven't done anything and that's how she felt how the little girl felt how her son felt so how do we respond to something that it's not about us but we get the brunt of it 
Express it. Share it. Speak. Find a group that supports what you feel, what you think, that you can express without lashing out. Find somewhere that you can share your thoughts, your feelings, excuse me, your, your thoughts and feelings without feeling that you are just chopping things down because I think the system is bigger than one of us. But if we come together and you find like-minded people to see how can you find a solution, like the solution in Dallas, in the school system there, they send an email to the parents. Maybe we can have the school system read upon it, see how effective it is because it is very effective. It gives it gives a choice and when we have choices in life we feel more in control versus i feel helpless and out of control because i have no choices and they are taking my rights away so reality and feeling reality of do i have control or do i feel as if i have control it is a perception but it is a far greater perception knowing that you have full control over your children over your own thoughts and your own reactions and with that take a moment take a moment hello Beverly yes you are a a responder exactly and why is it that you are a responder Beverly because I know you and thank you for being here thank you for participating because you have worked years and years in how to center yourself and respond before you go into that reactive mode so how do I help my clients is to make them guide them, support them, and hold space for them. That in case something like this happens, text me. I'll breathe with you. I'll stand by you so that you can show up in your best version. And what does best version means? That I am not out of control, that I am not panicking, and no one can make me without my validation without my say so it's affecting a lot of us unfortunately so many of us have lost people who were hospitalized and we could not be next to them but for families for mothers to safeguard your children, to safeguard yourself, to safeguard your sanity, to safeguard you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Take a step back because they're doing what they're doing because of the orders that has come from above. See, this is bigger than the school system. And they are being told what to do. And they are making decisions to the best of their abilities and according to what is being regulated. But with your children, what you teach your children to respond so that they feel centered, that they realize these are times that we're all going through this and this too shall pass. It will. So many are out and about, and there are so many that feel in a bubble. So what is a bubble? It is a clear protective mode that when we look inside of a bubble, we see the rainbow. And that is what our life is. 
finding where we can be grateful finding the gratitude that your child is safe you are safe and I hope that you are safe and I pray that you are because that's all we can do and the techniques here's one technique that not only you take a moment to safeguard yourself and create this beautiful invisible clear shield not the rocks not the shields but you shield yourself and the same with your children that you have to do the testing you have to do all that yes but feeling out of control the moment you feel it the moment you feel shaky you ground yourself maybe you need to sit on the ground and put the palm of your hands and you can do this with your children and say okay this is what's happening let us all sit on the floor we all sit and becomes a game put the palms of our hands on the floor and we take a nice deep breath together and then we say I am safe hmm I am safe and then we look at each other here is a game and then we clap yes and we shake it off shake it off shake it off all the negativity shake it off all the stress shake it off because when you shake it off you release tension that's what we used to do when you see something coming at you that it's bigger and you cannot handle what do you do you scream it you shake it off you run so that emotional release the impact right or you take in the old 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 days the Indians and everything that they would take I was doing this <laughs> I've got two pens I didn't even prepare for this but that's what we did even when times of celebration or fear factor what do we do we make noise we make noise so by making noise what do we do we break silence Hmm. we break silence and instead of uh, breaking silence with anger with resentment with everything why not with clapping why not with making noise why not with drumming so when you do that you are creating a vibration inside you a vibration releasing all that tension everything that you are getting angry you know you can make a fist make a fist make a fist and when you think it's so strong and then you go oh, you release and shake it off make a fist make a fist as if squeezing all that tension squeezing and instead of banging it you just go oh, you release it and then you clap hmm. by teaching this your children that instead of getting angry and holding that anger and resentment and the same as adults that when we come to lash out you make a fist to a point that you can no longer and then you open it and you go make a fist all that anger resentment out of control you want to punch the system you want to punch everything and then you turn around and say <gasps> or make a noise get something a drum a noisemaker or something and you use that you use something that also makes you dance makes you move makes you laugh makes you clap those are the ways we release tension hello Joyce welcome thank you for being here being with us on heel talk Tuesdays instead of suppressing find ways to express find ways to release find ways to share find ways to center yourself 
in life, we do have a choice to react or to respond. With everything going on in life, I realize just like the water that comes trickling from above your head when you take a shower and you sing in the shower and when we are in such state that we think it's out of my control people i know are losing their life people i know are in rehab centers people i know are suffering for taking care of their family members their loved ones because at any moment someone is making love another one is in pain at any moment someone is getting married another one is on the verge of committing a suicide with the thoughts because they see no way out so in life there is always the ups and downs celebrating a good day ready to give up so I want you to know I am here to support you to empower you to show up show up to express to stand up and speak up and that is exactly what I am about to do. Soon you will hear so much more because my TV show that it was supporting that we got into some glitches and we got delayed. So if you know someone who you believe would be an incredible speaker, a guest on my show, on my TV show, there is a fee. It is not for free. Oh, that even rhymed. But for those who have a message and have come through challenging times in life to be where they are and are making an impact in other people's lives, in the masses, or even one person, and it doesn't matter who she is, I want you to contact me. By all means, send me a message. DM me on Instagram. I would love to talk to them, to talk to you, no matter where you are in life. It can be an extreme experience, a traveler that is making an impact. That said, I am here to empower each and every one of us. And it doesn't matter a man or a woman, a child, and so many are surprised that when I work with children, that when they come into my room, the mother or the caregiver is not supposed to be in here. And why? Because what they want to express and share, they are the client and they feel good that I matter and what I have to say, I can speak freely. You know, that is one of the, our rights to speak freely. And the mom is right here outside the door. And they can come in at any time. But the child, I work with children after over the age of eight. That they too feel anxiety. They too feel fears. They too feel everything. And they also have suppressed it. Either by choice or they've been told to suppress it. And I help them release it, express it, and share it. So I hope today's message was beneficial to you. I urge you to find ways to respond. Be more responder than a reactor. And when you do come to react, find ways to ground yourself, center yourself, and care for yourself. Take care of you so that when you are happy, when you feel healthy, when you feel stronger, when your self-confidence is up, when you have the tools and techniques that I also help you with, 
you know how to stand up and when you do everyone that is with you from children from your loved one from your parents everyone even co-workers and everyone turns around and says I want what you're having thank you for being here if you have any questions by all means I am here for you if you are here thank you for responding for being here week after week and if you are on a replay by all means please hashtag replay and at all times you can subscribe and be with me I look forward to being with you week after week this is almost four and a half years and again don't forget my gift for you you can text stress to 818-221-2797 so that you can go into a stress-free position for approximately half an hour in the comfort of your home until next week god bless you and may the universal light surround you this is lisa bye bye Thank you so much, Sada John. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we are one together. Bye bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.